Hello everyone, this is Mike with the Cornell Eastern New York Horticulture Program. So if you attended one of our Petal Fall meetings back in May, you might remember learning about the Malleusin map from Dr. Terrence Robinson. So I've been using this tool for a few months now and have been finding it pretty useful. So I thought I'd go ahead and put together a quick tutorial on how you can sign up for it, how to set up one of your blocks in it, and how you can interpret and use the irrigation model this summer. So if you have a new station on your farm, the irrigation model is a nice tool that you can use to help more precisely manage your water usage throughout the growing season. The irrigation tool uses the Cornell evapotranspiration model and actual weather data coming off of your weather station to help you determine how much water you need for each block. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So there's a couple different ways you can get Malisim. You can go to your app store on your mobile device, download it there. Another option is just go to malleusim.org and that'll be the online browser version. So this is the home page here and then from there you can just sign up or sign in. So if you were to sign up, you just have an email and a password, nice and easy. I'll go ahead and just sign in since I already have an account. All right, so here's a couple of blocks that we already have, but if you wanted to enter in a new block, and when you first get this, it'll be empty, you'll go to this green icon here and add a location. Then it's gonna ask you to enter in some information for that block. The nice thing with this is you're only gonna to have to do that once. Once you get all that info in, it's gonna save it, and every time you log back in, this block information will already be here for you. So we're going to put information in for the irrigation model. So just anything that has this raindrop next to it, we'll go ahead and enter in the info needed. So for this farm, we're just going to call this test plot. We need to get in our variety info, which will be New York 1. For the weather station, when you click in here, a map will show up. And then you'll just zoom in and pick whichever station you want. In this case, I'll go with Peru. Get our green tip date in. We'll scroll down here, enter in our orchard age. Put in the row spacings. In this case, it's three by 14. That'll tell us our trees per acre automatically. Enter in our emitter spacings for the irrigation system. Again, that'll then give us our emitters per acre automatically. The flow rate for this system is 0.4 gallons per hour, and so that'll tell us our application rate per hour per acre. Then for our water holding capacity, Malleusim does this based off of your soil type. So in this case, we have a clay loam. So we're gonna enter in this value, this 103,185. So once you have all that info added in with this check mark here, That'll create that new location, that test plot, New York one. So we can go ahead and click on that. And this will bring up all the different models that we can run on that block. In this case, we're just going to look at the irrigation model. But before we do, you just wanna double check all the information here is correct. And if you need to edit anything, you can hit that edit button. So now let's go look at the irrigation model. Then we'll start populating here. And then to actually run the model, we'll come up to this blue box, click on that date. We'll choose today, July 2nd, and hit done. And so what we have here is a couple different columns. We have the water balance cumulative, the rainfall, and the irrigation where we would actually enter in the gallons per acre that we wanna apply. If we scroll down here, we can actually click in a couple more columns if we wanna add them. I like to put on the orchard evapotranspiration. We can also look at the cumulative evapotranspiration. And I also like the irrigation time in hours. So as you look through here, the column to really pay attention to is this cumulative water balance column. And really the way this works is we want to irrigate whenever we run about 20% of a deficit of our soils water holding capacity. 
So in that case, in this block, it starts at about minus 20,000. So this is when we would want to start irrigating. And essentially, when this column is highlighted is when we need to get some water on. So we can go ahead and adjust our rates in this column here, that irrigation gallons per acre. So in this case, let's just say we're going to put on 5,000 gallons on this day, which in this case for our system works out to about eight hours. Then we could skip a day, do another 5,000. Skip another day, maybe we'll put another 5,000. And maybe another 5,000. And maybe another 5,000 here. All right, so you can see it's supposed to be pretty dry, so that's quite a bit, but what we did now is get these numbers back down to over minus 20,000. So this block would no longer be stressed. And so here we can count up the total amount of hours that it took us. So 8, 16, 24, 32, 40 altogether for that week. So if you wanted to put that out, you could do it over a, a number of different days, or you could put it in different applications, but ultimately you want to get to about 40 hours for that week. And so if we scroll down here, we can see this graphically, this orange line on the bottom shows our water stress, and here's that minus 20,000. So throughout the season, we want to keep that just above this line so we can maximize our fruit value. So this is a, a pretty simple tool for planning your irrigation. Um, also go here now to this green button, go to irrigation records, you can click on that. And this will just show you the season-wide data from when you started. It'll go back to a week before and show a week ahead. And then as we actually hit these dates, this will adjust the model so that these values are disappearing. And if you want to keep track of your irrigation through Excel, you have the option to click up here on this export data, and that'll download a CSV file. And we can click open, and you'll have this information in an Excel sheet. And we click back out of here, and here's, again, is the other models and the home page. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple website. Uh, but, you know, pretty useful if you want to use it to try to schedule your irrigation. If you have any questions on this, feel free to give me a shout. You can email me at mrb254 at cornell.edu or give me a call at 518-410-6823. Thanks.